Hey guys, it's Chris from Highland Guitars, and you're watching another episode of From the Luthier's Workbench. Well, in this episode, I don't really have anything scripted, and that's because I've been so busy the last few days, I just haven't had time to really sit down and plan out the, the, this current episode. And what I hoped to talk about was um, more about uh, dressing the edges, leveling, and recrowning frets. And so I'll probably talk about that hopefully in the next episode, but it, it's just going to depend. Things are, are kind of crazy because I've got three guitars that I'm currently working on right now. Two are for customers, and one is a spec build that I'll be putting up on Reverb. And I'm at the same time, I'm also remodeling two bathrooms in my house and getting ready to remodel the kitchen. So I'm doing stuff just by running all over the house and trying to keep everything straight. And um, it's it's been a real challenge. So uh, for this episode, I'm probably just gonna kind of give you a teaser as I clean up the mess I've made here. And what I'll, kind of cover is uh, where some of the guitars stand right now that I'm currently working on. And one of the uh, spec build or the custom builds that I'm doing for a customer is a left-handed Clarksdale. And this guitar is, all, most of the woodworking is done, the finish has been applied, and now the finish is curing, and I hope that it will be finished curing next week, and then I can start final assembly. So I'm, I'm really hoping this one will be done in the next week, beginning of the following week, and I can uh, ship that to, to the owner. So uh, it's getting close. And the other one that I'm also working on is the, that cow skull guitar. And it's in the same boat that the uh, left-handed clerk stamp was in. I'm letting the finish cure on it, and hopefully in the next... I'll probably give that one two, more, two extra weeks so I can focus on the Clarksdale. And then once the Clarksdale is done, I'll go back to the uh, cow skull one and finish that one out and do the final assembly. So that one's probably about two weeks out. Then there is the science fiction themed guitar that I did an episode on um, several weeks ago where I showed how to do an image transfer using Mod Podge. Well, after I did that, um, I started looking at it and I, I had noticed that most of the comments on that video were pretty positive, but there were a few negative ones. And as I looked at them and kind of analyzed them, the negative ones were negative about the way it looked and the way it turned out. The positive ones were about what a great technique and idea it is. So I kind of took a hard look at it. And about the same time, I was working on the Clarksdale. And the Clarksdale, the body is made out of alder, which is a soft wood. So what I did was I used... Uh, Z epoxy, uh, epoxy resin to um, seal the back end and kind of harden that wood so it wouldn't be so soft and prone to, to nicks and dings and scratches and such. And as I was doing that, I got to thinking, I bet I could use Z epoxy for applying graphics onto a guitar body. So I decided to revisit the science fiction guitar and I'm in the process of completely redoing it. This is the vintage sci-fi guitar and originally, you know, I had the image transfer on here But what I decided to do was sand it off and then respray the whole surface with white And it's basically back to square one. So what my plan is I'm going to print out the design on my inkjet printer and this time, instead of printing it out as a mirror reversed image, I'm going to print it out normal. And then I'm going to mix up some um, z epoxy finishing resin, and I'll apply a thin coating of it over the entire surface, and then I'll just lay the graphic onto the front of the guitar. And what I'm doing is I'm printing out the graphic 
in four sections. So it's sort of like this quarter, this quarter, this quarter, and this quarter. And I'll have a line, very faint line, so that I can line up those, those bits and pieces. Now, I could do one large full-size print, but the cheapest I can find it locally is $12 to do that. So I figured, ah, just use my inkjet printer and print it out in quarters and then just, it'll be sort of like tiled and then I can lay it on here. And then once it's down, I'll put z -poxy over the top and that should seal it in. And I've already done a test and this is the control cavity cover which was the image of Jane Fonda from the movie Barbarella. And I'll see if I can find the version that I did as a Mod Podge um, image transfer. And I think you can, you'll see the, the obvious difference in terms of the vibrance and saturation of the color. So um, this worked out really well. I mean, that it's on there really nice. And, and I have a couple of options. I could either clear coat with some uh, crystal lac bright tone instrument finish, or I could just continue building up coats of the Z epoxy and then level sand buff. Uh, I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do yet. Um, if I do the crystal lac, I'll have to order some because I don't have any on hand. I have this, but um, and I should have enough, but so I don't know. We'll see. That's that's part of the thrill of, of doing this is there's no. Um, I'm never really absolutely sure how I'm going to proceed with it, so. Okay, well, that's pretty much everything that I've got going on right now uh, on my Luthier's workbench. So uh, I kind of apologize for not having uh, any uh, good detailed how-to stuff. But think of this as kind of a teaser for what's coming. And I plan to do an episode on... Um, dressing the edges of frets, uh, as well as leveling and crowning, and the different techniques that I use to do that. And then um, I'll probably do a demo of how I do the um, image graphic, the sci-fi graphic onto this guitar. And of course I'll be showing off everything as I get it finished, the left-handed Clarksdale, the cow skull guitar. So this is kind of one of those um, you know, almost like a, a teaser of what's to come, you know, like a trailer or something like that. So, um, you know, just stay tuned and, you know, keep an eye out for the future episodes and hopefully in between remodeling my house, I can get all these guitars done. So take care and we'll see you in the next episode.